And while this bicycle kick is amazing, what's more impressive is who did it and where. Matt Elias joins us live next. Who would have thought that the highlight of the first half would come from the Northwestern kid? Let's just touch. Look at this. This is That is awesome. awesome. The Northwestern grads, what a memento to take home. Spectacular. Their all-time leading scorer. I don't know if he ever scored a goal like that. Let's take a closer look at Matt Eliason. He walked on to the soccer team at Northwestern University in 2007 and is the school's all-time leading goal scorer. He never played professionally, but is currently a financial analyst for GE Capital in Chicago. His goal has received nearly 2.7 million views on YouTube. We now welcome in the man of that match, Matt Elias. And what were you just laughing about? Uh, just this whole experience today, uh, getting to come here, getting to sit down and talk with you. It's, it's just pretty cool. Well, let's talk about why you're here. You lived your sports center moment when you took the field in a messy and friends charity game. And then you scored an amazing goal. But first things first, why were you even on the field in the first place? Uh, just through a series of uh, fortuitous, fortuitous events. Um, <laughs> Just my coach contacted me. He said, do you want to play with uh, Messi? And I said, are you joking? He's like, no, I'm actually serious. He's coming to Soldier Field. They might have a few extra spots. Um, do you want to play? And, uh, you know, I just jumped at the opportunity. Who wouldn't? Let's talk about the goal itself, though. Thierry Henry, one of the all-time greats, sends a cross into you. The ball's in the air. What's going through your head? Um, just not to mess up, I guess. Uh, maybe just muscle memory. But, you know, I thought I'm in front of all these fans. Um, I've got this opportunity. Uh, I've got to do something. And uh, fortunately, it worked out well. You say muscle memory. That means you've done this many times before. Have you <laughs> ever scored a goal like that? No, I wouldn't say many times before. But, um, you know, I, I've practiced before. I've, I've done it a couple times and came close. But I think it was just good timing. And everything worked out at, at the right time. Now, what was the reaction by the other players to you after you scored that goal? Um, you know, they just came up. They are saying, great goal. Maybe a few accents I didn't really understand in there. But, you know, overall, it was just neat to get to play with Henri Maluda all these guys I grew up watching, and uh, yeah, it was just a surreal experience. You told me Thierry Henry whispered in your ear, that's a top 10 goal. Yeah, in the French accent, he was like, Sports Center top 10. And <laughs> I said, that's, I hope you're right. That's awesome. Well, it did make Sports Center's top 10. When you first saw it, what was your reaction? Um, uh, just at one absolutely nuts. Thought, thought my window had passed to make the Sports Center top 10, but uh, apparently I had one last shot, and uh, you know, everything just worked out great. Nearly 3 million hits on YouTube. How has that one moment of glory changed your life? Um, just, you know, everywhere, people coming up to me in Chicago saying how awesome the goal was. Um, you know, just friends and family reaching out. And, uh, you know, overall, it was just a great experience to be able to do it with Northwestern and with the guys that I grew up playing with. Yeah, your coach is here with you today. He seems as happy about this as you are. Yeah, I think everyone at Northwestern just, it, it was great for all of us to get this type of exposure and just to, you know, go forward and know what this does for the program. All right, you're a financial analyst for GE Capital in Chicago. Uh, what would you do if the Chicago Fire from the MLS called you right now and asked you to come play for them? Um, you know, I, you know, I had some opportunities to, to play and train with them before and, you know, never thought I was given kind of a fair chance. And, you know, I think going forward, you know, this opportunity could open a few doors and, you know, really looking forward to the opportunities that are to come. Now, what teams have reached out to you? Have there been any? Um, there's a few teams that I've been in talks with, but nothing's formalized yet. And, you know, still happy with my position at GE Capital. Actually just came from training today, so I'm, I'm thrilled to be there as well. So just trying to balance everything and see how it works out. We've seen about 80 different camera angles on that goal. There's the one shot where you look up and, and do this face. Were you shocked that you were able to put it in? Um, I wouldn't say shocked, just the whole experience, I think. I just was kind of like, wow, this, this is actually happening. <laughs> it, was, it was just a cool experience and, you know, happy it was able to happen. All right, so what's next for you now? How do you top this? Uh, I'm not sure. Just uh, trying to soak up the moment, um, be happy how everything worked out, and, you know, go forward and see some of the cool opportunities that have come from this. Matt Eliason, head over heels, literally, <laughs> after one of the goals of the year. <laughs> Wow, wow, wow.